So PlayStation is finally making official PlayStation 5 faceplates. And yesterday they announced in PlayStation blog, not only we're we getting five faceplates, we're also getting three new controller colors. So the three new colors are Nova Pink, Starlight Blue, and Galactic Purple. Set out along with the Midnight Black and the Cosmic Red, and then the white, basic white one, I don't know, I think it might be called Glacier White, maybe, I don't know. But then, so yeah, that'd be all the, the the colors for the PlayStation controller so far, and the faceplates now too. So this is kind of like something that people have been wanting Sony to do with PlayStation 5 for pretty much ever since it was announced. I always thought like it was kind of odd that we only there's only white, usually consoles come in black. I personally really like the red one. I also like the red controller, which I do have one, as you can see the box in the background. I also really like the purple and the blue. Those colors are really nice too, and I want to get both those controllers at least. So these new controllers and these faceplates are going to launch in January of 2022, so pretty soon. There's no official day yet, but we just know January. So the controllers are going to come out at a price point at $74.99, which is a bit expensive, but the PS5 controls are really good. That's about the price of the other ones too. That's what I paid for the red one. And then the face plates are going to be $55.99 each, which I saw a lot of people complaining that was too high, but apparently all the third party ones like D-Brand and Plate Station, all that stuff, that's around the same price they were selling it for. And overall, this face plates thing, this is an awesome idea because one thing that I always find really cool is like custom consoles for like games that come out, whatever. I remember when Kingdom Hearts 3 was coming out, they had the custom PlayStation 4 Pro and I really wanted it, but I just got a PS4 Pro like shortly before that was even announced. I didn't want to drop $400 on another one. But with these face plates, they can just release the face plates. They can still do a whole console that's custom made. You can go and buy the Final Fantasy Remake Part 2 uh, PS5 with the already face plates on it. Or you can just buy the face plates if you already have a PS5 and don't want to buy another one. Especially since they're hard to find. You know, it kind of reminds me of what the, the new 3DS did where you had these changeable face plates. A lot of people see it as like, okay, now this is why like Sony was like suing D brand and shutting down like PlayStation, all, the, all that stuff, because they were going to do their own. And. Yeah, I definitely knew that was coming. Like, I, I couldn't imagine them not doing this at all, especially seeing how easy it is to take the faceplates off the PS5. I do think it's kind of shitty to, like, try to, like, cease and desist D-Brand and all these other, like, PlayStation, all that stuff. Because, like, third parties make accessories for consoles and stuff all the time. I guess those are usually licensed, though. So that's probably the issue here. I don't know. I don't really don't care. I don't want to get into this conspiratorial stuff. Whatever. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that we're finally getting actual official faceplates. Because I've been wanting to get some for a while. I was even thinking about getting like D-brand ones, but I didn't personally like them as much as I just like the regular PS5 design. I just didn't want it in white. But yeah, that's about it for this video. It's pretty short because it's really not much to talk about. It's just new controller colors and new faceplate covers. It's not that huge of news. But I still wanted to talk about it and give my opinion on it nonetheless. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.